Alright guys, this is part two of how to uh, route audio from Tractor into Ableton and into your DJM 900. So now that we're now that we have Ableton open, what you want to do is uh, let's create a, a new audio track, delete uh, the MIDI uh, track, rename uh, the first track to Decay. Rename uh, audio to the one that you created into deck B. Um, go to your options, prefer preferences. On your audio tab, for the driver type, choose ASIO. For your audio device, select the jack router. For your input devices, or for your input, you will, I personally use stereo, so I deselected or I disabled my mono. For output, um, same thing, uh, I disabled my mono and had my uh, stereo selected. For the rest of the, the, the options, um, just leave them normal. Um, input in and out sample rate 44,100. Um, and that's about it. So. Now what you want to do is configure uh, the decks for audio from, make sure you have ex exterior in, 1 and 2. For monitor, select in. For audio 2, change that from master to um, exterior out, 1 and 2. Now uh, if this is optional, you could set up your, you know, uh, your left and right for if you're going to be mixing inside of um, Ableton. Uh, for deck B, what we're going to do is do exterior in, change that to 3 and 4, monitor in, or monitor in, exterior out, and 3 and 4. Um, you can go ahead and arm your tracks now. Now what, what you need to do is go back to the uh, jack audio uh, connection kit. We want to now uh, you want to have the tractor drop down selected. Oh, looks like I didn't take this off. Let me just kind of Okay, so now what you want to do is have for your inputs in Ableton, you're going to map out your tractor one to Ableton's in one. Out two and two two. Out three and two and three. And out four and two and four. Now you can go ahead and uh, condense that, and for the, for uh, Ableton's live's uh, output out <laughs> output ports, uh, you're going to go to port audio. There is a <coughs> you're gonna uh, reconfigure these and and remap three. So disconnect those three and three and four and four. Disconnect those. Um, the port audio portion of it is those are going to be your channels on your mixer so 1 and 2 belong to channel 1 on the DJM 900 3 and 4 belong on channel 2 on the DJM 900 5 and 6 belong to channel 3 on the DJM 900 and 7 and 8 belong to channel 4 on the DJM 900 so what you want to do is map out 3 into 7 4 into eight, and that's pretty much it. You are so now. You just need to test out um, and make sure that everything uh, is or if the audio is being routed correctly. So arm uh, both deck A and both uh, both deck A and B. Um, hit play on deck A. On the DJM 900 you should be getting an audio signal on channel 1 and uh, to verify that just uh, you should see your LED uh, going up and down. Um, in live uh, you should see that deck A um, stereo channels are going up and down and that means you're receiving uh, a tractor signal or tractor audio. 
startup deck B and on the DJM 900 uh, channel 4 your LEDs should be going up and down uh, meaning that you're getting audio signal and in Ableton uh, you should for deck B you should be seeing that you're getting uh, uh, audio signal into it so this concludes the, the, the tutorial on how to route um, audio from Traktor into Ableton into your DJ 900 and be able to play out live. Um, some of the benefits of doing this is the fact that you can use VSTs and Ableton's um, um, effects onto your mixes. Um, and if you want to do something like that, just uh, select over here um, and then just start recording your tracks. And as you can see, I'm getting uh, uh, both channels are going into separate. Uh, tracks on my uh, Ableton. Uh, once again, if I if I didn't explain some things too clearly, uh, feel free to either comment and leave me an email or something that you that you need that you may need me to explain a little bit more, or if you need me to help you out uh, setting stuff like this up. Um, you, I can also be reached at the Pioneer uh, Mixer forum, also at the Native Instruments uh, Tractor Forum, and also at uh, DJ Tech Tools. I roam around that forum, so you might see me in the controller area or in the general area. Uh, I'm pretty much all over there. So uh, once again, thank you for watching, and hopefully this helped out people out there because I definitely needed the help for this, uh, and I couldn't find it. So uh, take care, and I guess I'll see you guys around.